Well, here's the planetary runes. Um, I completely forgot it, forgot to start the film, start to, to capture, and uh, unfortunately, I, I showed you. Here's the Dragon Mystique. This is one of the decks that I I like to I have. I don't use it much, but here's the the Ibis Tarot. The Ibis Tarot. I like the Ibis Tarot, it's a good one to, to use. I also have the Herbal Deck. Where'd I put my Herbal Deck? Where'd I put it? Oh, there it is. I like to use it, too. That's a good one. It's sitting here, so I might as well lay, try to... Here's the High Priest, and... Oh, oh here's the Hermit. I got the hermit. I put the. This is the diamond crystal. Everything in Inspiring Feather is based on what I call the Rainbow Fire Diamond Medicine Crystal Medicine Path of the Rainbow Warrior to Angelic Buddha Christ Consciousness, as, as exemplified through the diamond crystal. I could say that again. This whole table setup. This is my table setting. Is called the Rainbow Fire Diamond Medicine Crystal. And then it's all based on the rainbow, the color spectrum, the tarot. I have a divination wheel. This is, here's the tower. Then I lay, these are all the facets. This entire diet, this entire layout here is the top of the diamond crystal like on here, and then everything here is the facets, and they all correspond with the color spectrum, and they're laid out accordingly, and then here's also the, I have the, the lovers, T6, the lovers, and then I place them on the facets, and you can spin it, you can spin it around, here's uh, T7, the strength, here's strength, there we go, and here's Key 21, the world, which is what we spun first. And that's, to me, when I, when, when it lands on, when the wheel, this is what I call the wheel, the Sacred Rainbow Fire Diamond Medicine Crystal Medicine Wheel of Fortune. This is what this is. There's five parts to it. These here. And I've got the, uh, the I Ching laid out. We could do an I Ching read. Let's see, do we have time out? Would you like to do an I Ching, I Ching reading, Mr. Pumpkin? How about, yes, Mr. Owley? How about an I Ching? We'll do an I Ching reading. I think I was still going to lay out, yes, the, these I'll just lay out quickly to get them out of the way. You see, we can pick one later. Let's see, there's that one, that one. Oh, the Magician. You cannot forget the Magician, of course. The Magician, of course, is who we all are. So there's the Magician. And I can lay down the Magician on, uh, I think, in the middle there. I'll do that. That works good. The Star. We've got the Star here. There's the Star. And this is, this is now the layout of the Temperance. And then the Moon. Here's P18, the Moon. The moon. Here's this is Hang Man. We got that one. The High Priestess. There's the High Priestess. The Emperor. Here's the Emperor. And then uh, here, we're going to do an I Ching reading really quick, so we're just kind of... We're going to change the wheel really quick and do an I Ching reading. We're gonna ha I've got, I'm going to have to read it though from the I Ching book, and this is how I'm learning. Um, this is how I'm practicing too, so... It also gives us a today's reading of the I Ching. So I'm going to spin the wheel. 
the sacred rainbow fire diamond medicine, crystal medicine will of fortune, and for a I Ching reading. And it landed on He Xiao Chu, nine. Nine of the I Ching. Let's see. Oh, yes. Small accumulated. Accumulate small things to make something great. It's uh, an I Ching hexagram. Uh, small accumulating. He Xiao si, si, si Chou. Keywords. Accumulate small things to make something great. Small accumulating describes your situation in terms of confronting a great variety of things that don't seem to be related. The way to deal with it is to adapt to each thing that crosses your path in order to accumulate something great. The way to deal with it is to adapt to each thing that crosses your path in order to accumulate something great.